You have come a long way with selecting and manipulating elements. And the last thing we are going to look at in this lecture is removing elements from the page. For example, in a browser-based note-taking application, you might want to remove a note when a user deletes a note. Or perhaps a user wants to delete a photo from a folder in an online photo book. In this case, we need to remove that node holding that photo. We can do this with the remove child method. Just like the append child method, remove child method takes a child element as an argument. And in this case, it's the element you want to remove from the parent. Let's look at an example. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript DOM. And then open the index.html file in the browser. In the index.html file, remember to link app.js file. In the index.html, first we'll add a new button to trigger the element removal. So right below the add item button, let's create a new button with the class remove item button and the button will say remove last item. I'll save the change. Then in the app.js file, a lot of what we want to do is very similar to what we did earlier when we added items to the list. So up here in our variable lists, let's copy this line where we selected the add item button and paste it below. And I'll update a few things here. First, I'll update this add item button to remove item button. Then I'll update this selector to button dot remove item button. And we can do the same with the event handler at the bottom. So I'll copy the add item button event handler. And paste a new one right below. Now I'll update a few things here. First I'll update this add item button to remove item button. Next, inside the click event listener, I can leave the first line alone since we need that UL to call the remove child method. Now for the list item element, you need to select the last element in the list. And we can do this with a number of different ways. We could select all the li elements with the get elements by tag name for example, then find the length of the collection and use that to access the last element. That would be a perfectly valid approach, but I'm going to show you another way using query selector and the CSS pseudo class called the last child. So I'll update this line to document.querySelector and pass in li colon last dash child. So this line of code will select the last list item and store it in a variable called li. Next we can remove these two lines. Because we don't need them. And finally, instead of calling the append child method, we'll call remove child method. Now I'll save the chains, refresh the page, and here's the remove last item button we just added. First I'll add a new item to the list, let's say dog, and I'll see if I can remove it. Then I'll click the remove last item button. Okay, it works. Good. Coming up in the upcoming lectures, we'll start looking deep into all those event listeners that we have been using in the previous lectures.